We're going to look a little bit more with Venn diagrams, and we're going to look at two concepts known as union and intersection. And I have on here the definition of what they are, and, well, let's talk about that. So union is this U-looking shape in between set A and set B. That means A union B. What that is equivalent to is it's the set of all X's such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. Union corresponds with the word or. So I want everything in this Venn diagram that is in set A, we'll call the orange one here, and set B, the green one. So is this stuff here in A or B? No. Is everything inside the orange circle in A or B? Yeah. So it's all of that. All of that would be included in this statement. Now, is everything in the green circle in there? Yeah. So this is the stuff represented by A union B. Everything that's in A or everything that's in B. And everything that's in both. Now, an upside down U is what we call an intersection. This stands for A intersect B. And it's the set of all X's such that X is an element of A and X is an element of B. So think about what that means over in our Venn diagram. Where are we looking? Here's A, here's B. I want everything that is in A and everything that is in B. Well, that's going to be the items that fall in this region right here. The stuff right here where I just put an X, that stuff's in A, but it's not in B also. Intersection goes with the word and. Union goes with the word or. Something you're going to have to keep straight. And you might be wondering, what happens if there is no intersection? What if the two sets don't overlap each other? What we've been dealing with up until now are non-disjoint sets where we have an overlap. Here is A intersect B. If we have two sets where they're not overlapping, we call those disjoint sets, and A intersect B is the empty set. We don't say zero, we say empty set, which is the zero with the line through it, or you can give two sets of brackets with nothing in between them. But there's a distinct difference between zero and empty set. So let's look at an example. We've got our universal set, U. It contains all positive integers less than or equal to 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Set A, we'll go with orange for set A, primes less than or equal to 12. B would be factors of 12. And I'm going to start out hoping or assuming that there's going to be some overlap. So I'm going to draw my Venn diagram like this. And so prime numbers. One we don't consider to be prime. Two is prime, three is prime, four is not, five, six isn't, seven, and eleven. That is the set of our primes that are less than or equal to twelve. That is set A. And that's going to go in the orange circle. Now set B, factors of 12. Take a minute and write down what this set would be. We'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now before I go anywhere, I like to identify which ones are the overlapping ones. Which ones are going to go in the intersection? 
I see two in both groups. Three. And there aren't any more. So inside the intersection, I'm putting two and three. There are just two items in there. In the orange circle, but outside of the green one, we have five, seven, and eleven. In the green circle, but outside the orange one, we have four, six, and twelve. Is that all of the numbers? No. We have some left off. I'm missing one also. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goes out here. Nine goes out here. Ten goes out here. Eleven, twelve. We have to account for all of the numbers. Now we have a whole bunch. We need to list the elements in some of these sets that we find. Everything not in the orange circle. So one, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Five. Usually we will write sets in the seven area just to make sure what's there. Notice I did not include the two and three because those are inside of. That is the elements that fall in the overlapping area. That is the set two and two and three. And really, take a moment, pause the video, write down what you think they really need to be. All right, there you go. Everything that's in A or B, it can be one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eleven, and twelve. Eight, nine, and ten are the only things that are not in the Now, D. Number, remember this N parenthesis means number of things in. The number of A intercept B, how many things are in A and B? Number in a union B. I can count that in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And pause the video and try this last one. The number of things not in B. So here we go. The number of things not in B. That would be 11, 7, 5. Six items, not in seven. Take the time to draw the picture, to look at where the numbers fall. These types of questions are not terribly difficult. You just have to take the time and do it. 